Hi, I'm the Alchemist Astrologer, and this is your Pisces New Moon reading for the sign of Leo. This new moon heralds a new beginning for you related to 8th house matters. So for some of you, this is going to be a period that focuses on stressful or crisis-oriented situations. Now, this may tie to wills, inheritance, legacies, could be taxes, debts, mortgage. For some of you, this is about some kind of health challenge that may require surgery or some kind of psychological issue or something related to sexuality. Whatever it is, it's a, a period where you're going to have to reconcile with the values of other people. And in fact, this may center on jointly held assets or property. Now, in the past, you perhaps were looking at your satisfaction level. Or maybe either you or someone you're dealing with has been emotionally closed off, perhaps even greedy or selfish. So you could be looking at issues of you know, luxury or uh, marrying for money or uh, whether you're getting what it is that you want. Now, this in the past, perhaps there was a situation where you had the opportunity uh, to obtain something that you wanted. But maybe that desire came at a price, a consequence that you had not considered. Or perhaps you're dealing with someone in that set of circumstances. This may have been a friend or you're trying to reestablish harmony within yourself where you've been emotionally closed. Currently, you're doing a review of some kind of opportunity. Now, this may be an opportunity like a job offer. Maybe you're reviewing your finances. Perhaps you're thinking about traveling. You have had some measure of success, but right now you're feeling as if there's something more and you're patiently waiting for something to happen. So there's a review again of perhaps joining forces with others, what your ambitions are, what you can accomplish. Now, in some cases, this is simply the need to drive a point home, to make something clear or to clear your name in some way. So you're patiently waiting with regard to this review. And this is a, a period where you really need to trust your own instincts. But those instincts need to be based on facts and figures. Because if you overshoot your mark, you're going to get a strong reality check. On the other hand, there's, there are others out there waiting for you to be vulnerable, waiting to exploit you. So this is the time for you to really review uh, carefully and consider what your intuition is telling you. This is an action-oriented period where you listen to your gut and you take action. In the future, there's a focus on a king of cups. This is water energy. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces, and it may be their sun, moon, or rising. Now, this may represent a father figure, somebody who's maternal, someone who's helpful, willing to support and advise you. So for some of you, you're coming in contact with a spiritual person or a person in the healing profession or someone extremely creative or artistic. But for others of you, this could be someone who is emotionally manipulative. This person knows how to draw you in on an emotional level in order to keep you off kilter. There's a decision to be made about the support you're receiving. And again, it could be based on some kind of financial matter, whether you're feeling emotionally fulfilled Whatever this is, you yourself will have intense desires either to improve a situation, to defend yourself, or to completely destroy something that you feel is no longer valid according to your mood. Your advice card is open mind, heart, and mouth. So if there's something that you've been wanting, you are going to have to do a review of whether you can gain support and how fulfilling it will be. You're going to have to be patient in order to create this harmony because you're waiting for a decision to be made. So this is the time to speak your truth, to open your mind to concepts that you hadn't considered before, to open your heart if you've been closed off, or if there's a need to say something important or speak a truth, you're going to have to open your mouth. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Remember, if you'd like a far more personal reading, you can visit my website to schedule an appointment. 